Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Campbell Chronicles. Here on this channel, we talk about all things family, travel, and Disney. Today we're gonna to talk about something that makes the family life a little easier. Do you have a closet like this? Well today, I'm gonna to teach you how to take something like that and turn it into this. If you're like me and you like having an organized closet, somehow this translates to having a better time with the family. The stress is relieved, everything is just in its place, it's all great. For the sake of the family, <laughs> we're gonna organize this closet. To organize this closet, I went to Ikea, I bought some of the PAX furniture uh, closet organizer systems there. I've done my research on these PAX systems and they're actually pretty good quality. They hang together, they do well, you can or custom organize them and that's just great. But on top of that, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the entire back wall here and I'm gonna line it with a cedar planking. This is good for the clothes. It keeps the bugs and the moths away, but it also keeps things smelling nice and fresh. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, we gotta take this old shelving out and this old rod. Now we have to do some demo. So we're gonna gut this and start on the demo. Okay, all gutted out, ready to go. Now, as far as demo goes, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna unscrew these, pull this board out. Since this is all getting covered up anyways, I'm not really gonna worry too much about, you know, nicking and stuff, so, because this is all gonna be cedar planking, so I shouldn't have a problem with that. By the way, my cedar plankings I did plant, pick up from Lowe's. I didn't get the lowest of low, but I definitely didn't get the high grade stuff. I just got some middle of the road cedar planking. It should turn out really nice. By the way, all the products I purchased for this, I'll put in the description below. Before we get too much further, have you guys had a project like this? Did cleaning it up really help you out? If so, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you value family travel or Disney, this channel is for you. So hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on our future content. But yeah, time to take out the shelf and the clothes rod. As I'm pulling up, it's scratching the walls. I'm not really too worried about that since it's all gonna be covered up in cedar anyway, so. Let's just get it out. Easy peasy. Some of the easiest demo I've ever done. It's really just only held in by some finishing nails on the top there, but I imagine these pieces on the, on the back wall are gonna be a little different, so. All right, shelf's all done. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull out the baseboards and then we'll start putting up that cedar blanking. Okay, baseboards and all the, it's all demoed, ready to go. Before we get started with the planking, I'm gonna go ahead and mark a line for level. Just uh, maybe a few planks up, just to kind of see where we're at and adjust it. Now, since most of this stuff is gonna be covered by a closet organizer, if some of it is out of level, it's not gonna be very noticeable at all. So I'm not too incredibly worried, but I like to have things nice and square anyway, so what can I say? Let's get started with the cedar. Okay, the cedar planking that I got from Lowe's is the Cedar Safe Natural Closet Lining. Again, I picked this up at Lowe's. It had good reviews online, so let's give it a shot here. I like the color of it too. The color was much better than some of that other cedar planking that I saw. Let's open it up and get started. Now also, this cedar planking does use a, a tongue and groove system. So on one side, you'll have the, the groove, and the other side, you'll have the tongue. They just slide right in inside of each other. You just kind of nail it in as you go along. So now of course the cedar planks only come in a certain length. So that means I'm gonna have to do a lot of pre-cutting here. So let's head out to the garage. We'll do that pre-cutting off film, but basically I'm measuring the width of the closet and I'm gonna stagger the cedar planks so they start every about foot or so. We're not gonna be overlapping. It should be one cut per row. So shouldn't be too bad. Pretty easy, let's get it started. Now these are tongue of groove on the sides too. So when you're cutting these, make sure you're cutting on the right side. This one's gonna slide in behind the one that's already set. So make sure you're cutting on this side. All right, so I also quickly realized that as I'm nailing these in there, I'm gonna to wanna to get to as many of the studs as I can. Now, if you go to, if you nail too close to the edge of these cedar planks, they are gonna break on you. So try to keep the nails center, you know, about mid section of the board. I'm gonna to try to do one per stud, and that'll be plenty to hang this lightweight cedar up. As 
So if you've ever done a harbor before, this is actually pretty similar to that. Whatever you cut off the end, you're gonna bring around and use the other side to start so you're not wasting as much. Also, just like harbor fours, you're probably gonna to wanna to take from two or three boxes at a time to randomize the colors more. This way it ensures that you're not just stacking up the same colors and then there's a massive color change between boxes. So this just gives it a little bit more flavor and a little bit more randomness to it. I also like how they give you these shorter starter pieces. This is actually really good. Kind of keeps it a little bit more uniform without even trying hard. That's pretty much it. You know, one thing you gotta remember when you're dealing with this, it is cedar, it's wood, it's imperfect. There's been a few cuts so far that are very warped or, or just not cut right. I've had to throw out two pieces so far, it's not a big deal. Um, when you're dealing with wood, you can expect that sort of thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just gonna kinda keep on staggering all the way up to the ceiling and we'll get the sides done and yeah. So for that last little bit there, it's not an exact match. I'm talking, it was close, but it's about an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna have to rip an eighth of an inch down here and um, you know, get that so it'll fit there. Just one, one eighth of an inch, uh, that's so close. But yeah, so that's not too bad. I'll just do uh, two pieces. I'll split it right in the middle. So it'll be pretty easy. All right, that's one wall. So from here, I'm just gonna do the side walls. It's basically the same thing both each side. I'm gonna stagger them, that way I can use the wood as best as I can, make sure I use as much as I can. Hey, may, maybe even return one of the boxes. But yeah, we're gonna nail that top strip in, then we're gonna start the side walls. Uh, the back wall is done. I just wanna show you real quick, but a while ago I was able to install these lights here. Uh, these are just canless lights, and the problem with this closet is it's so deep that it was so dark, so I installed a light and I put the switch on the outside here. It's a smart switch, which is nice. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a little out of benefit. And I think at the end product, this light is gonna show up really well. It's a Utilitech canless light. It's a six inch light. You can change the light temperature uh, quite a bit. And I just have it on the lowest setting because it's just the closet and a warm feeling would be really nice in here. So that's what that is. And hopefully by the end of it all, it'll show up really nice. Now it's time for the next side and we're gonna do just like the back and the other side. Okay guys, wow, the closet's lined with cedar. It's ready to go for the closet organizer now. I, I gave myself an extra 10%. I'm glad I did because there was a couple pieces that came in extremely warped. So I'm definitely glad that we get, that I got an extra 10% because I finished out perfect, <laughs> down to the last plank. So I couldn't be more thrilled. So take a look at this and let, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the cedar lining. Is it something you guys would like to try? Oh, just let me know what you think. 
Well, with that, it's time to go ahead and start assembling the closet organizer. Again, this is the pack storage unit, a customizable unit that you can go out and pick your own pieces from drawers to organizers to shelves. It's all there. It's actually a great system that I really like. So we're gonna have the main section here in the middle. And then over here, we're gonna have a smaller section uh, for hanging clothes and, and down at the bottom there's gonna be a shoe rack. All right, I had to move our workstation downstairs for a little bit more extra elbow room to build the two main cases. One's about 30 inches, one's about 15, 19 inches. So they're not gonna be the same size. One's gonna be a lot bigger than the other. All right, well, that's one down, one to go. Now, since I went ahead and went through all the trouble to put up that cedar planking, I'm not gonna put on that little extra back there. It doesn't provide too much stability to the product anyways. I wanna be able to see through the organizer and see that cedar planking that I had set up. So that's the kind of look I'm going for here. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stand this one up and then bring the next one up and we'll get that one built. And then we're gonna take both those up before we start setting up all the drawers and all the shelves and everything like that. So let's get this one up and out of the way. All right, so after getting this piece in here and doing some more measurements, I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to build the second one inside because we're not gonna have much room. It's a, it's, a lot, it's a lot wider. We're not gonna be able to get it through the door as easily as we were this one. So I think we're just gonna take the option and build the next one right in its place here. So, But first, before we do that, we have to set some of the pieces where we have more room. But then we'll bring everything up when it's time to assemble it inside where it's gonna go. We had to call it quits yesterday, got a little late, but now we're back at it. We got this big centerpiece in the closet ready to be assembled. We're gonna have to assemble it inside the closet. That's the only way it's gonna get done. So let's begin. All right, the main piece, the center piece is in. I'm actually very impressed with how well it turned out as far as spacing goes. I left about 12 inches over here uh, so that we could hang some more clothes up, stuff that I'll rarely get into. Just to give you an idea, from about here down is all gonna be drawers of a couple shelves. Over here, I'm gonna have hanging clothes, shirts, and pants. So there should be plenty of hanging room uh, when I put, especially once I put two more hanging spots over here in the tight space, stuff that I'll hardly ever use. There will be some shoe racks down here. So yeah, so far so good. I really am glad that I decided to keep the, the back off so you can see right through into the cedar. Um, structurally speaking, it's gonna be fine. The, uh, they came with mounting brackets in the back there. And uh, so once it's mounted to the back, I'm also gonna put some mounts into the side it's not going anywhere. The instructions do say that if you have more than one next to each other, to clamp them and then fasten them to each other and they give you some instructions on how to do that as well. Well, with that, let's go build some drawers. And by the way, when it comes to Ikea furniture, I'm always very leery when it comes to purchasing it. We've bought some, some items in the past. Some have been great, some have been not so great. Uh, when I was looking at this PAX wardrobe, I was really looking at the quality that they had there on the showroom floor and while underneath it is composite, it's a very thick composite. It's gonna be able to handle a lot of weight. And after doing a lot of shopping and everything, all the closet organizers were just as expensive, if not more expensive for not as much, and especially not as much customizable options. So that's kind of the big reason why we went with these PAX wardrobe organizers. I think the end product is gonna be fantastic. Back downstairs, ready to start assembling. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you everything we got, all the accessories, the drawers and whatnot just to kind of give you an idea of how customizable these PAX wardrobes, the closet organizers can be. All right, so for starters here, I have one, two, three, I have six different, I have six drawers here. Uh, these have a glass front, so I'm gonna actually probably start assembling those first. Up here I have some drawer liners. Uh, I got a seventh one for the tray, which is here. Now this one, 
This tray here has a divider, which I'll show you in a minute. It's, I call it a trinket tray. You can put all kinds of different things on there, watches, ties, um, jewelry, whatever you, whatever you have there. But that's gonna be that. So we'll line that pull out tray with the liner and a divider. You'll see the end product here. So I have a small sh glass shelf here and I have a large glass shelf here. Ideally, they're gonna be about halfway up and the small one will be right over the pants rack, which I'll show you in a second. And then we have the large one, which is gonna be right over the top of the trinket tray. Down here, I have three different pull-out shoe racks. Um, each one should be able to hold at least two pairs, so I should have a good range there. I did get some angle brackets that I can mount some shelves to that'll hold the closet uh, clothes rod for hangers and stuff. That will be on the far left side. Back there is the, the rod itself. It's just leaning up there, okay? This here is the pants rack. It's a pull-out pants rack. I thought it was kind of cool. You'll be able to just pull it out and hang your pants up there. No need for hangers anymore, so. And over here, I just have some basic shelves. I got an extra so I can cut it up and put it on top of the angle brackets there. So that should be pretty straightforward there. And over here, just some extra little pieces here. I have a pull-out, um, almost like a tie rack. And then I have two different uh, clothes rods. I got one extra just in case I didn't, or if I didn't have enough space for the pants rack, which I should. But over here, that's the divider. That's the trinket divider there. All right, so that's everything. Let's go ahead and start putting all this together. Okay, everything's unboxed, packaged. I assembled it, pretty much everything that I could that's gonna need assembling. All six drawers, all six drawers are done. We got the glass shelves, we have the pants rack. I didn't unbox the uh, all of the shoe racks right here because you know, there's some that's, there's just a lot of little parts and it's all loose, so I decided to keep it in the box until we get up there. And then we got the shelves down here, so. I would say, I would say it's time to go start putting everything together. All right, so I wanted to show you one more thing before I start putting everything in the closet here. Now, when I was doing my measurements, I have the three shoe racks that are gonna go down here. When I did the measurements, they are gonna come out and j bump against the door jam here. And I decided that's fine. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. So as far as the shoe racks go, I'm gonna let them bump against the door jam. If I have to, I'll put like a little soft stone piece of foam or something that's not going to damage things over time um, and the same thing with the pants rack that's going to go right about here now I'm going to that's going to slide out and it's going to bump here I, if it that is something that I'm not that I'm not sure if I can't get to my pants assess really easily here then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and get that extra clothes rod and just hang it up here and hang up my pants there as far as everything else goes we have a clothes rod that's going to go up here for shirts we have Shelf, shelf, shelves, and starting from the very bottom here, we're gonna have six drawers, a trinket tray, glass shelf, shelf, shelf. And then over here, we're gonna put two more. I bought that clothes rod from Home Depot. I'm gonna put a shelf there, a rod there, and I got down here, I'll do something, you know, so you can hang up maybe long things. So maybe less than halfway down, I'll do another shelf and another rod for pants and that sort of thing. Back here, stuff that I'm really hardly ever gonna get into. Um, and then over here, I have, uh, coming in Amazon, I have some a hat rack that I'm gonna hang up here so I, so I can have all my hats lined up nicely there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the lighting in this has turned out better than I could have imagined. Uh, again, I know it's darker over here, but that's okay. I'm not gonna be in there that often. It's a little bit lighter over here, which is okay, because it's still enough light. So what I'm gonna have to do now, I'm gonna assemble and install the shoe racks, the three shoe racks, and then the pants pull-out rack. After I'm done with the shoe racks and the pant racks, I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and finalize and hard mount everything into the wall. So that way I can come back over here and hang up the clothes rods and the shelves. So that way I know it's in position, it's not going anywhere. And like I said, I'll probably put some braces in here, uh, fasten it to the wall on this side. I'll have the, the brackets that it comes with. 
really there's no way this is going anywhere. I think it's going to turn out pretty nicely. Okay, everything is mounted, bracketed, and everything is set for drawers and everything's ready to go. I'm gonna put these plastic covers over the mounting brackets in the back and then I'm gonna start installing everything. It's time to roll. The end is in sight and I can't wait to see the finished product. All right guys, everything is assembled and ready to go. I'm actually very happy with the way things turned out. It turned out better than I could have imagined. Let me show you around real quick and then we'll do a before and after. Okay, so we're gonna start where we started building. Down here we have three shoe racks and each shoe rack is actually, it's a pretty cool design here. Let me pull one out here. So you can actually fit a total of four pairs per rack here because they have two different shelves, which is actually really nice. Now some of my shoes are a little bit wide, so I might only be able to get a small pair of shoes here. So maybe instead of 12 pairs for the three racks, maybe only eight or something like that. And that's okay. I don't have that much shoes, so it's gonna be fine, I think, no matter what. I did leave a little extra space down here on the bottom for my boots and things. So this one's a little bit taller, so I can have my boots down here at the bottom. But overall, I really like the quality. This is a metal here. It's sturdy and it's durable, and I, I really like the way this turned out. Moving on up, we have the pants pullout rack here. I really like this, and as I mentioned before, I, when I was doing my measurements, I knew this was gonna hit, and that's not gonna be a problem, as because I really only have four or five pairs of slacks that I use on a regular basis, so anything I can have that I'm gonna use regularly is gonna go right here, so maybe my work uniform, and maybe a couple pair of, of other slacks. And when I'm not using them, I can slide them back here and then put another pair here. So honestly, I'm not gonna be running out of space here. I really like this design. I think I will have to go ahead and maybe put like a, a soft piece here just so it's not banging and damaging the face of this over time. And then I did decide to put the glass shelf on to match this side here, but we'll talk about that in a second. Up top here, now this is the this is the one rat closet rod that I have with the organizer system. I'll show you a couple more here. But look, this is about six and a half feet tall right here. I'm about 6'2", 6'3", on a good day. So having that up high is not a problem. And that's okay because it's customizable. If the next people who move into this home does not like that, guess what? This can all be moved. You can take this out down here and bring everything down and make more space. But I really wanted to maximize the amount of space I had to hang things up. So that's why I went all the way to the top. And it's an easy reach for me being 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 I imagine somebody that's six foot tall or maybe even a little less could probably reach that just fine as well. I did have a slight struggle with deciding whether I should do our one or two shelves up here. I decided to go with two because I thought, initially I thought that this shelf here would block off too much of the light and I really wanted the light to come down here and show into my trinket tray here. But, and, and I did, it had no problem. 
I was gonna put my tie rack here, my pull-out tie rack, but it just, uh, I didn't like that idea and I wanted the extra shelf. So I went ahead and put it up here, uh, over here. I'm gonna have maybe six or seven, eight shirts here that I will regularly use, you know, maybe my uniform and a couple other polos or nicer shirts here that I like to hang up. And that's about it. So having this tie rack here, that's not gonna take up too much space. In fact, I do, I do have a lot of ties, so whatever I don't use, we'll go over here in the corner and I'll show you that here in a second. But again, I'm pretty tall, so reaching this tie rack is not a problem. Now this is probably about seven and a half feet right here where I'm grabbing. And with work, I wear the same black tie four out of seven days of the week. So that's probably gonna go right up front here and it's not gonna be a problem at all for me to reach that. Now over to the middle section here, I already discussed and I, de I decided to go with two shelves instead of one and I'm glad I did. I wanted that light to shine down here and this right here, this area is gonna be kind of my catch all. But I do wanna be able to put things in the back here so that I can see down into my trinket tray without even opening the drawer. Now once you do open it, it's really nice and spacious. You can roll up and put belts, ties. I'll probably throw in some of my watches, my cufflinks, all kinds of things that I'm gonna just kinda of have to in a nice little space to organize it with. And the best thing I like about these drawers, look at this. They are the soft close drawers. Every single one of these is a soft close. I love that. And I did end up going with six. That's again, a personal choice. They say only go with five, but look, I'm, again, I'm a taller guy. So having to come in here to this drawer here, that's not a problem. Even the trinket tray, you know, that's sitting right about chest height for me. That's not a problem. Maybe about four and a half feet, five feet right here. Not that problem at all. Uh, maybe five feet's a little too old. So probably about four, four and a half feet off the ground right here. That's not bad. So I really love that. And then over here, as, as I was showing you, I don't know how well the camera got it, but up in the back there, I did installed two shelves. I got one there and then one a little bit less than halfway down here. Now this is the area where I'm gonna put things that I'm not gonna use much. Maybe some suits that I rarely wear or some shirts that I rarely wear that I really don't wanna get rid of it, but I have that. So all I did for this was I got an extra one of these shelves I cut it up to fit in the, each of the section. I got those angle brackets and the rods from Home Depot, and I just installed those right there. Now, each corner has a stud there, so I am not worried about this falling off at all. I'm very pleased with the way this turned out. And then over here, I have coming in the mail. I'll probably get it tomorrow in the mail. This area here, it's a little bit, I like to collect hats. I wear hats almost every day of the week that I can. And so I have, at any given time, I have 10 or more hats. And so I need a place to organize them. So I ordered from Amazon just a, a hat hanger, an accordion style hat hanger. I'm gonna hang it and mount right there. And again, it's gonna be in front of stuff that I rarely get into anyways. So I don't feel like that's gonna block. This is only about, this space here, it's only about 13 inches, maybe almost 14 inches. So it's really not that bad. Um, so having hats here, I really don't see that being an issue or a complication. All right guys, so overall, what do you think about this design? Have you guys dealt with the PAX closet organizers? What do you think? Do you like the cedar planking that I used in the back? Or do you prefer maybe using something else? Or maybe even, maybe you think I should have left on that blank piece of, uh, I, don't, I, I hesitate to call it wood, but that uh, backing that you would put on these back on the back of these normally. What do you think? Do you like the cedar planking? I can tell you right now, I'm in love with the cedar planking because I love the fact that it smells so good. Overall, it's gonna keep uh, the odor feeling nice. It's gonna feel refreshed and it'll also help keep moths and things away too. So it's kind of dual, dual purpose. Not that we have a big problem with moths or anything, but hey, that's, that's another perk of having the cedar planking here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd really love to hear from you about this. What do you guys think? Do you like the way I set it up? Just let me know. All right, I just wanted to show you real quick here before we did the before and after shot, the hat rack came in. I just have a few hat racks to put in. Now this isn't technically a hat rack. I'm making it a hat rack though. It's basically an accordion peg thing. I got it for under $20 on Amazon. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But I did go ahead and I did get two of them. So I, I put them right there, one above the other. Now when they're actually, when there's an actually a hat hanging up here, 
you're probably not going to be able you're not going to be able to see the gap there so i think it'll work out kind of nicely and uh keep keep my life and things a lot more organized so i did forget to mention that i also added on this little accessory here this is a little i don't know what they this is a little i don't know what they call them i'm going to call it a staging hook so i put it up high and out of the way because i'm going to probably use this I don't know, I wouldn't say regularly, but pretty regularly. So when I'm getting ready for the day, or when I'm going to bed for the night, I like to have everything ready for the day next, especially when I'm getting ready for work. I just like to make my mornings a lot easier. So the nighttime, I'll come over and I'll hang up maybe my uniform, and I'll just kind of have it on what I'm calling, I'll just kind of have it on what I'm calling the staging hook there, and I can have that ready to go. So I like that. It was only 4 or $5 for that little hook, it's just going to help me stay a little bit more organized, keep everything confined here. Nothing's hanging off the closet or in, you know, out of place. It'll be right there, ready for me to go. Right, guys that is the finished product take a look at that I couldn't be more happy everything turned out wonderful from the ties to how things are hanging up the storage the hats everything I love it it just turned out so nice now I do have to say everything you saw in the before shots that was in the closet actually made it back in here with the exception of maybe a small handful of shirts and a couple pairs of pants that I just simply was not going to wear anymore. Everything else and the shoes and a laundry basket full of shirts made it into this organizer and I couldn't be more thrilled. It turned out so wonderful. I do have to say my favorite thing right now is probably this trinket tray. I was able to put a lot of things in here. I got belts, I got watches, I got magic bands, I got all my cufflinks. Uh, just so I had a flashlight. You never know, right? Now it's easy to grab. So, and that just everything I, I need is ready to go right there. So I couldn't be more happy. And I love the way the light shines through the glass so I can look and see what I want before I even pull the tray out. It, I don't know why, but that just makes me happy. So I got a sock drawer. Um, yeah, I got work fun and then white socks so it's it's kind of a uh, full <laughs> I probably don't wear that much but I got more most of my athletics some swimwear I do have a little bit of space that I left for uh, some extra uh, active wear because I'm still debating I think I'm gonna get rid of like some of these old shirts anymore I do love my tank top so so I'm probably gonna keep all that there but for the most part I just left some room just in case I have one and two drawers full of shirts. That's probably the single most item that I have is shirts, plus all my tank tops and athletic wear, my gym shorts and my swimsuits. I mean, gosh, this, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I could fit so much in here and I couldn't be more thrilled. Very, very happy with the way this turned out. My shoe rack, you know, my shoe rack turned out okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed. I wish that there was just a little bit more room. I was able to get a lot. It's not as organized as I like though. I love to simply put a pair here and a pair there on the same shelf, but I had to kind of stuff my flip flops in and I kind of had to put my slippers one on top of the other. But for the most part, everything fit pretty well, so I can't complain too much. Everything turned out nicely. These are my work shoes. They'll be on most of the time. And then I got my 
everyday active wear up here with another pair of flip-flops. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm not as thrilled about this, but the fact that I was able to get, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 pairs of shoes, including flip-flops in my closet is exciting. Now that doesn't include the pair I'm wearing now, and it also doesn't include some boots that I put down there. Some boots that I wear only during the winter that I'm really never, never going to wear otherwise. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited that I was able to get that many in there. Now my tie rack, I went ahead and I put two ties per rung on there, and these are my favorite ties. No, I don't wear them every day. I wear my black tie to work every day. That's that's what my uniform requires, so that's what I wear every day to work. But I did put some of my favorites on here, like, like my stitch tie here. So I put him up front, I got my monorail tie. I love my monorail tie. And a bunch of others, you know, I got my tie fighters and I got my tie fighters and so on. So this is kind of where all my favorite ties went. And I, I really like it. I, I really, really do. It's been really nice to have it. Up here, I have some of my uniforms here and my favorite polos. Um, and then on this side, I have stuff that I just couldn't part with. Um, some of my favorite Hawaiian shirts that I only wear on occasion, but hey, I still wear them. My Castaway Key shirt. Ah, oh, jeez. I just couldn't get rid of them. And then down here, I, I left it for more of my like winter uh, long sleeve suits and that sort of thing. So up in the top there, I have a couple of cases and things that I'll seldomly need to get to. This is my hat for my pirate costume. I can't, I couldn't really find a, a good place to store it. So right here for now, that's where it's gonna sit. It's nice and flat, it'll keep it nice. Got my gun safe and my, uh, you know, a couple bags and different boxes up here that, I'm, that have stuff in them. But for the most part, that's it. And I didn't have to part with too much because this, storage this organizer fits so much in it that i just wasn't expecting at all so honestly i'm very very pleased and the hat rack from amazon again it's not really a hat rack it's just a accordion style peg thing that i just made into a hat rack and i did try putting belts on here on these hooks and they work it runs down the middle um, but i like the belts here in the drawers a lot better so i think that's where they're going to stay for now so, so yeah, I think that's where they're going to stay for now. And, um, you know, if I get more hats, I can just hang more up. But aside from the hat I'm wearing now, all my hats are here. I, and, and my pirate hat and my pilot hat, of course. But all the hats I regularly wear, all the other ball, ball cap hats that I regularly wear are here. So, yeah, this is, this is very, very satisfactory to me. I love it. All right, so what do you guys think? I'm really anxious to hear from you guys. Let me know if you like it. Again, if you like the cedar planking, it's something that you would do or maybe not. Uh, what do you think about the way I organize it? If you have any tips for me, please send them my way. I'd love to hear from you on that. Uh, otherwise, you guys, it's been a pleasure. I've really enjoyed this project. I love getting my hands dirty and, and building something from scratch. And so to, to take a blank canvas and turn it into this, I really enjoy that kind of thing. So it's, it's, it is a lot of fun to me. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you value family, travel, or Disney, this channel is for you. And if you hit that subscribe button, you won't miss out on any of our future content. Thanks again for watching. And remember, adventure is out there.